Welcome to the Birds of Prey area um, and welcome, say hi to Rusty, one of our resident Birds of Prey here. Here at the Wine Marsh we have several Birds of Prey. They, are, they vary from non-indigenous Birds of Prey and indigenous. So certain ones that you would see here in the wild or even in your backyard and some that actually you'd have to go to another country to see them. So like for example, um, our little owl, JJ, he's from Central and South America. Um, Rusty here is an example of our indigenous bird of prey. He is, of course, our red tail, who is probably by far my favorite. Um, at the White Marsh, we use our birds of prey as ambassadors. So we like to educate the public um, and our children about what you would see um, in the wild and the importance of these birds of prey. It's not very often that you do see them. Of course, we'll see the chickadees a lot more often and but these guys are a totally different story and they're amazing, amazing hunters. So we like to educate the public on what these birds of prey do for us and into the wild. Um, our birds of prey area is used as housing. So you'll see that there are several um, aviaries that the birds of prey are housed inside. We also use that area as our demonstration. So we do bring the public in. We have a show every Sunday at one o'clock, whether it's um, during the winter or during the summer. During the winter, we tend to do it more indoors. Um, so we do have that little section that we use for our demonstrations. Also, there are several different types of buildings that you will notice. Some of them are just individual little buildings. Those are called aviaries. When a bird, when one of our birds are, is molting, usually when they lose a lot of feathers, we put them on a bit of a holiday or a break and they get to go into their own little enclosure and they get a surplus of food until they're actually finished their molt. Um, also, you'll notice a very large built building which is equipped with heating. So some of our birds that are non-indigenous that do not exactly like our cold winters here in Canada, uh, they get to go inside that very nicely warm building for the winter. Also, you'll notice there's a large building that is very open. Um, our birds will be perched there throughout the day. So what we do then is we actually have to tether them down to their individual perches. We can't let them fly around all at the same time. There is, of course, competition between species. So for their safety alone, we have to put them on their individual perches. We don't keep them there at all times. That is specifically just for during the day. So if any visitors come through and they want to see Rusty, for example, or Alice or JJ up close, they have the opportunity to see them through the bird porch, that's what we call it. So all our birds of prey get complete exercise at all times. Uh, they are well taken care of, as you can see Rusty here is doing very well on my fist. Our birds are imprints, which means that they are raised in captivity. So since day one from hatching out of that egg, uh, we hand fed them, hand raised them. So they're very accustomed to us, to humans. So they are imprinted onto us. They depend on us 100% for their care and for their food source. So if by any chance one of my feathered friends um, takes off on me one day, they'll end up in someone's backyard and kind of looking towards those people for food. So um, unfortunately they're unable to be put back into the wild, but here at the marsh we make sure that they are well taken care of. All right, Rusty.